what's up YouTube? This is Crispy Gameplay on my Twitch channel right now. I'm sure I'm going to show you guys the setup for the Cook's Padlocks on Slaughterhouse. Uh, the first place we're going to go is over here. Oh, well, Grandpa's awake already. Um, the first place I'm going to go right here is right here on uh, Facility Courtyard. Go in this red door right here and we're going to padlock that. Now there's two entrances to this area. It's probably the most popular area to go out right now. Um, so we're actually going to padlock both these doors. I'm going to swing around. Some people padlock this gate. Um, I think it's silly to padlock this gate because there's a crawl space right here to get through. So we're going to padlock this door. Now, there's only two entrances to get in here. So it's, uh, it's a pretty good setup, and it locks down that escape route pretty heavily. Makes it really difficult unless they have a really competent Connie uh, to get out that way. Now, the second, uh, sorry, the third padlock and final padlock we're going to do, we're going to go all the way to loading dock and the back of loading dock, and we're going to padlock the back gate there. Um, the reason being, um, as this is the second of the two, obviously, easier and most popular exits, um, doing the car battery gate is usually pretty good. It, it takes a long time to uh, disconnect car battery. Um, and there's, you know, you could do double padlocks on the back doors here, but I prefer to just padlock the gate. If you have a good runner uh, playing either Hitchhiker or Sissy, um, you will be uh, in good shape because it's very easy to patrol this area um, comparatively. And also, both these doors already have locks on them, so there's basically three locks you have to get through before you even get to this area. A lot of times, Hitchhiker will already have this set up. It does not look like it's set up, so I will set it up. Basically, we're going to padlock this back gate, and then we're going to turn the car battery on. And that will be the end of your setup for Slaughterhouse. Uh, you can try alternate setups, but really I found that this is the best setup for uh, delaying survivors the most. Cook has you a high really damage output, you came um, but uh, he's, you know, he's, uh, he's slow. So you got to use your padlocks uh, in a good way. All right. Apparently, one of my teammates uh, didn't like that a door was unlocked. Anyways, that's your that's your guide to Slaughterhouse Padlock. Hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you guys later. I'm gonna finish this game.